What up folks, it's Alex here. I hope you're all good. Today, I decided to get a little bit creative and I've created a sort of light leaks pack for you all. There's a link down in the description. You can go ahead and download that. Now, light leaks look a little something like this. As you can see, that overlays which you can use as transitions and they can just add a little bit of a flare to your footage. Now, the light leaks I've created are all 4K, 24 frames per second. I'm gonna do another video to show you how to create your own because they're actually really easy to do with a camera and a light source. That's really all you need. Now, there are loads of other free light leak packs out there as well. So make sure just to Google free light leaks and you're sure to find some others as well. Now, I recommend only using light leaks in certain situations. They work best when using footage which would actually have some flare in it. So if you shoot directly into the sun or if there's a strong light source or that sort of thing. Right, with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to apply them and the best composite modes to use. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I've set up a bit of a project here on my timeline. Now what I've also done is imported all of the light leaks into a bin here called Leaks. Now you just import these like you'd import any media into your project. You can just drag and drop them in or head to the media tab and import them that way. Once they're in, you can also input them into a power bin so they're ready for you in any future projects. If you need to know more about power bins, check in the description. There's a link to a previous video of mine in there. All of the ones that are called leak are just black and white. We've got transitions. These are obviously transitions. And then you've got some other colored ones in there as well. So I'm going to start off with a simple one, which is leak three. I'm going to drag that on there. If we just hit play, it looks a little something like this. So what we need to do is just change the composite mode to blend them all together. So give it a click on your timeline, head up to the top right hand corner and open the inspector. And we're looking at this composite mode here. Now there's lots of options in here. Just have a play, find the ones you like, find the ones you don't like, and then you can just mess about with it until you've got something that you're happy with. Now also, there's a link in the description below to a website which talks about the different composite modes in Photoshop. They're very similar, they're not identical, but it should give you a rough idea about what each of these is doing. Now the three that I find work really well are Add, Lighten, and Screen. Add works really well for the transitions, whereas Lighten and Screen works really well for these sort of general overlays. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to select Screen. And now you can see we've got our overlay. Now if it's a bit much for you, what you can do is just lower the opacity like so until you're happy with what you've got. Now also remember, this is just a general MP4. So you can do anything to this clip like you would any other clip within DaVinci Resolve. So if I just give it a click, I'm gonna hop into the color tab. I'm gonna select the color wheel here. I'm gonna make sure on this first little icon here. And then you can actually just change the color of the overlay because it's just white. We can just mess with the colors. So I'm just gonna use the offset for now. You can mess with any of these until you're happy. Just have a play. You can also adjust the contrast, saturation, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna drag this around I'm gonna go for sort of a blue, washed out sort of blue look. We'll go for something like that. Head back into the edit tab, and now we've got sort of a blue look to it. Again, we'll hit play, and we can see we've still got the light leak going on, but everything's sort of got a bluish hue to it. Again, if that's too strong of a look, just lower the opacity until you're happy, like so. Now the transitions work in a very similar way. I'm gonna grab a transition, Let's just grab this one. And what I'd like to do, put it straight on your timeline. Now, before you actually mess with the composite mode, just give it a click so it's highlighted, and then we'll hit play. And what we're looking for is the point where the whole screen is white. So about there. So that's where the actual transition is going to occur. And then with the clip selected on the timeline, just hit M on your keyboard to put a marker. So now we know that's where the transition happens. So then we can just go to the point here where these two clips meet, put the marker on there like so, change the composite mode. As I say, I find add works really well for the transitions. And then if we hit play, 
it looks a little something like this. Now again, it's just a standard clip, so if that's too slow for you, you can right click, change the clip speed, and you can speed it up. Also, if it comes in a bit too abruptly, which some of them do, just grab the little markers and you can blend them in, blend them out until you're completely happy. And it's as easy as that. And that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, take it easy. Bye.